guys, this is Tetsman, and I'm coming to you with a brand new episode of Why I Love This Card, and this week I'm going to be talking about Super Quantum Mecha Beast Ram Pulse. Now this card came out today with the uh, Wing Raider set, so uh, it's pretty interesting. I believe it's only a rare in the set, so it's pretty easy access, um, and it's probably most likely going to be seeing a lot of use from the Monarch deck uh, in combination with Zaborg. Uh, just because it helps them get out the uh, big guy, which is like a rank 12 or something. So, um, but that's not the hero that there. I'm talking about like in general how good this card can be. So, uh, just to go over its stats, it is a machine, a water type monster, rank 3, 1800 attack, 2800 defense. And it's generic, so it only requires two level 3 monsters. Can attack while it has no Xyz material, and once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, and then target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. If this card has Super Quantum Mecha Pilot Blue Layer as Xyz material, this effect can be activated during either player's turn, and once per turn, you can attach one Super Quantum Mecha Pilot from your hand or your side of the field to this card as a face-up Xyz material. So, why is this card relevant? Well, first off, as I said, it's a generic level 3, and Phantom Knights are going to be coming out, uh, or uh, came out at the same time as this card. So, obviously, this is a rank 3 toolbox. In fact, it could probably replace Alucard in its usefulness in terms of generic rank 3s, just simply because Alucard uh, can destroy uh, one Xyz material, oh, not, well, can attach an Xyz material by targeting one set card your opponent controls, and while that does include monsters, um, Mega Phantom Beast Grand Pulse can target spell or trap cards that are not necessarily set, so you can pop scales with this, uh, you can do a lot of things, and also if you have a blue layer under it, which is this guy right here, um, which can search out any other super quantum card, uh, which actually gives you quite a bit of utility with this, um, it, it's just, it's very interesting because it allows you to, uh, go into rank 3, and then if, he can just sit in on him in defense position. He's got a ridiculously high defense, and it just helps over this so he doesn't have to target set cards. Um, I also said it could be used in Phantom Knights. Phantom Knights are a very rank 3 toolboxy deck, uh, and they could definitely use this to pop back row as well as scales without having to destroy their own Phantom Knight of Breaksword, which not always, like most of the time, they do are going to try to do that, but not all the time uh, is the case. Uh, as well as this, uh, Burning Abyss can use this card very well, uh, mainly because, again, this is a rank 3 deck. And, uh, well, yes, it's not the best card. It, it definitely has its uses over Alucard in this deck. Uh, and then, also, while it has Xyz material, whether it doesn't, because it can't attack while it doesn't have any Xyz material, so that's kind of a bummer, you can just put Downer Magician on top of it and attack with it. So, Downer Magician is definitely very useful for that. Finally, this can also see some play in Atlanian Mermails, and that's because they do have rank 3 options available to them. Would they do it all the time? No. They are more uh, open to rank 7 plays and stuff like that. But all the same, um, they do have a rank 3 power. They could use uh, rank 3s as well with the Atlanians. I do believe they have quite a few at their in their arsenal. So if they do have that option, they are open to it as well. So thank you guys for watching this video of why I love this card. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, have a nice day.